I would describe ECU Club Sports standard operating procedure for our gender identity as one that is inclusive of all. Uh, it's very simple and it basically states uh, which gender you identify with, that is what sport you will play. I think the moment that sticks out most to me about the practice that we put in place uh, was when I see those students who can come out and be their true authentic selves, um, whether or not they are transitioning uh, to a new identity um, and they feel welcomed by their teammates, they're given a hug on the sidelines, they get a high five after they score a try in rugby. Uh, we have 1,200 athletes within our program and you know there's going to be those who feel a little bit apprehensive about coming out because of their identity, but uh, we want them to feel like, hey, I have a teammate. I have a friend and I now have a family that I can belong to here at ECU. ECU club and intramural sports are adopting a new procedure allowing all students to participate. ECU club sports partnered with the LGBT resource office to create the gender identity operating procedure. We realized that there had to be an educational component to help people realize and understand why this was so important for not only our university, um, but for our state and for our nation as well. For the love of the game is getting back to your childhood when you didn't care about the color of someone's skin, their gender, their sexual orientation. You just wanted to have a teammate out on the field with you, playing, scoring a goal, scoring a basket, scoring a touchdown. The word inclusive to me is encompassing of everyone. Around here, it's y'all means all. We are the Pirates and we believe in winning not only on the court, but off the court with everyone being their true authentic selves.